Okay, so it's time for me to torture myself because I don't play bad games all that much, but I'm a huge fan of Angry Joe and Angry Video Game Nerd, so when I saw Rambo, the video game, quite an infamous title, uh, for sale for about 3 euros, my first thought was, nah, not, still not worth it. Then I realized that I had to try this train wreck, see if it's actually as bad as people think it is. Oh, show weapons, that's really nice. I mean, we have this game about Rambo, and the options on the display is show weapons. Then we can choose our crosshair, and we can choose to have not no crosshair if we like. Uh, I'm not sure that's actually a good idea. Uh, we can choose a HUD. I mean, these are not act. Oh god, this is just a volume. I mean, we can't even choose actual video settings on this game. Uh, and I mean, Total Biscuit would probably say something about the uh, FOV slider not being present. Uh, there's a high risk this game gives me a headache. At any rate, the sheer infamy of this game is that most early first-person shooters was all about going Rambo. You were alone, had a lot of guns, the enemy couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. You mean that basically all the early first-person shooters was a Rambo movie. There was no Call of Duty style team play or Rainbow Six Siege style stuff or anything like that. You just shot up some bad guys. So when they made a video game about Rambo, you'd think that, hey, they made well, a generic first-person shooter. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I'm here today to talk to you about a man who killed dozens. Oh great, he's dead. Is the game over now? John Rambo. And it's good that he's dead. This man enlisted in the army when he was 17. He was in Vietnam by his 19th birthday. We taught him to kill. We taught him to survive. In 71, that was put to the test. He was captured by the North Vietnamese. And one by one, over seven months, they tortured Rambo's unit to death. Oh great, they're gonna tell the story through that funeral, ain't they? You think I am stupid? You think we don't know about the rescue mission? I want to point out this game came out in 2004. I know! So, sorry, 2014. So, so, you would think it would look a bit better than this? Yeah, well, as I said, this is not a first-person shooter by any stretch of the imagination. This is an on-rails shooter. Basically, the entire game is one big fucking turret section. And you'd think that at least they'd make it fun, you know, make it be able to use, you know, light guns or whatever. Uh, I have a light gun. I haven't been able to get it to work. Oh, and there is also this reloading minigame. You're supposed to reload it at the s sweet spot, and then your gun magically gains more ammo. Like times, huh? Oh, shut up. Look, the North Vietnamese army was a l Oh, now we got a jam because we... Because we did it all too soon. Yeah, now we got it perfect. And we can't... We can't be... Oh, I think I accidentally... 
triggered the wrath mode, so at least that we get got a little more health back. Oh, we t I'm just behind the rock. You can't see me. You can't see me. Oh, there's someone behind the rock. Oh God, they're stupid. I mean, if this was in an arcade with a plastic AK or something, I wouldn't actually mind. I might mind because I think I've actually paid what the entrance fee for the arcade would be. Um, but at least I would have a better experience with it. I mean, just hide a weapon, give me a plastic AK, and this game is already a lot better. Now, I'm pretty sure I got a headshot in on him, but he just he just dropped his hat. And of course, we jammed, so th the next mag won't have as much ammo. And now we reloaded perfectly, so the next mag... Th and of course, we have pretty much infinite ammunition. We can reload as much as we like. This is really not all that challenging. It's just point and click with your mouse button. Oh, come on, stop that. And since we're Rambo, we're pretty much invincible either way. Seriously, this looks really bad. Really, really bad. So, just reload, shoot some more, shoot up some bad guys. At least it's true to the Rambo formula in the case that you shoot a lot of things. Oh, so now we get to throw grenades. I don't think that's actually... Oh, God! The grenade actually bounced back upon us. Uh, we'll go to the last checkpoint, we'll shoot these guys, we'll shoot that guy. We'll shoot that guy. I mean, I died on the first stage on a rail shooter. I'm never gonna live that down, and I'm recording this shit. Of course it had to happen while I was actually recording as well. Oh god. And then it speeded up, so but it wasn't all enough that he was first having all this. Oh, we can switch to our pistol as well. Why would we do that? I have unlimited ammo to this thing. Why? What incentive is there for me to actually change the weapon? And the thing is, as a, if I just got to move myself, this would actually not... I wouldn't say it would be a bad game, because it would most likely still be a bad game, but hell. It would at least not be hilariously bad. I mean, there are a lot of things you can do with the Rambo franchise. That doesn't mean you make it a first, rather a rail shooter. I, I refuse to call this a first person shooter. I know this is first person perspective, but I re calling this a first person shooter is an insult to the first person shooter genre. Oh, and we're jammed again. Course we are. Oh, and there's the RAF system, and uh, of course we activated it a bit early, at least we can regain some health that way. Oh god. Let's just shoot the bastards. Oh god. I might die again, we'll see. Oh and get used to that get just get used to that music. Because it will not ever stop. Oh god, we're dead again. It's over.
Well, that was easy. You hear that? That chop was off to get out of here, brother. What's up? Almost here. Watch your fire. We're getting close to our guy. Not that I really get any incentive to care, but hey. I wonder if I actually can shoot them, or if they're just invulnerable due to... <coughs> this game is really insulting to the North Vietnamese. They were really much better at tactics than just, you know, standing up in the open, not firing their guns. In fact, the North Vietnamese were pretty good at firing their guns. And of course, oh god, the slow the, the slow mo there is just fucking ridiculous. I think we're gonna die again. We might actually die again. Yep. It's over, Johnny. Tell us to go pain. You hear that? That chump is off to get out of here, brother. I am kind of tempted to see if, yeah, we actually could shoot our guys, and we didn't. I don't think even we got a score penalty for it. We might actually have gotten a standard score for it. I don't know. Yeah, we can basically just stay here all day until we get a perfect reload combo. Not that we would actually want to, there are more shit to show you. There we go. Perfect reload, perfect reload. Not perfect reload. Well, let's just see if we can stay in cover until we get one. Yeah, there we go. And now we get the wrath system, so we're basically healing, killing other people. Oh, we got a headshot in on one of our guys as well. I wonder where we're carrying all these all these magazines, because I'm fairly certain we did actually not have anything to carry them in. The only basically di basic difference is that you have to find out where you can take cover. That's <coughs> basically the entire entirety of tactics in this game. Yeah. <coughs> that experience broke something inside, <coughs> but it was so far below the surface. No one saw, like tiny pieces of shrapnel floating around in his blood, cutting him up inside. You don't come back from that. Mission accomplished. Okay, so we got a few minus for the friendly fire. Not that the game actually seems to care. <laughs> oh, the game has perks as well. You're kidding me, right? Please tell me you're kidding. The game cannot possibly be so <coughs> ungodly stupid that it has a system in a rail shooter where there's no QTE fails. <laughs> Seriously? I can't believe it. Please, tell me that's just a lie. Yeah, perks. Yep, the first perk you unlock. Not, you know, the last one or the most obvious one or, like, anything. Yeah, we're going for, you know, disarming gives health. And we're 
because the other one, I don't want to use it. I mean, it's it's just fucking ridiculous. How fucking silly can you get? I mean, wow. Wow. In Vietnam, Rambo was a hero. But when he came home, the world didn't agree. To them, he was part of a war they didn't want. And so they didn't want him. He went looking for Staff Sergeant Barry out in Hope, Washington. But Barry was long dead. Cancer, Agent Orange. Got himself killed in Nam. Didn't even know it. So Rambo had no one. He needed a friend. But instead, he got a local sheriff who hounded him, arrested him, and treated him like a vagrant. Looking like that, carrying that flag on your jacket that way. Trouble's gonna come your way fast around here, son. Jump in the cruiser, I'll give you a lift. I'll take you a few miles up the road. There's a truck stop there, you can eat some. Is there any law that you doing something here? Me. I'm stopping. We don't need people like you in our town. Those cops in Hope, Washington, they pushed him. And so he pushed back. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hands on the car, I said. You're under arrest, son. You know, if I wanted to see this, I could watch the actual movie. I think that would be a better use of my time. Get your paws over your head and turn around, son. is fine with me. This boy's wriggling like a damn earthworm. Don't worry about the soap ward. Come on, guys. Can't you see he's got a screw loose? Can't you see I don't give a damn? Shave him dry. Hold still. You don't want your throat slit, do you? Oh, and here we have the QTE events that we actually got our chance to not actually fail. However, we are gonna see if we can... Oh, we got a perfect. Oh, we got a good. Oh, we got a good. Yes, I feel so skilled pushing a button to get to do this. Fuck you. Oh, that was tap fast. Bitch, haven't you played the Game of Thrones game? That one actually has QTE sections that are somewhat challenging. I mean, this is... There's a, they, they want to have an option where you can actually skip these. Why? Oh, and that graphics glitching in the corner doesn't really help either. Dear Lord. This is fucking easy. I mean, QTEs themselves are usually pretty easy, but this is just fucking ridiculous. Okay, so that was the mission. Yep, that was a mission and we're actually getting ranked up for it. With a bullet time and duck and cover mechanic. We'll just keep it going like this. I don't feel a need to get another... Oh, we can get an M16. And an AKM. At least the game has a somewhat good selection of weapons, but... It doesn't actually matter. We know where you are. You can't run forever. You're on all left. Turn yourself in, Rambo. Peel him off those rocks, Doc. 
This really looks like shit. I mean, why? I mean, I could watch the fucking movie if this is what I wanted. Oh great, more QTE sections. Just what I wanted. You have got to be kidding me. Who the hell thought this game was a hold good your idea? Fire. Hold your fire! Christ, I said hold your fire! We're going down there. Go! Will, Will! This guy, John Rambo! Came on the wire and said he's a Vietnam vet! A green beret! Hell of a guy to try and push around, Will! A green skinning beret! Oh, that's just great. Goddamn Green Beret. That's Ghost. That's our guy. That's our guy. He's dead. Dead. Now the trigger control guy. on these characters are god awful. Rambo must be right here. We should be able to smell it. Stay 50 feet between you. Spread. Spread 50 feet apart, I said. Seriously, there are really old games that look far better than this. And I've quite a few of them comes to mind. And unlike any other game, the cutscenes actually look worse. I don't see why we need to take them alive. There's no incentive for me to actually do that besides points. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you regardless of that. Oh, we're too late. And we are dead. At least we could fail it. I mean, it would be really fucking ridiculous if we didn't. Yeah, let's just murder a lot of them. So, here, here comes again. Let's see if we can actually make it this time. Ah, apparently we didn't kill him. Oh, hello. Oh, we're early. Doesn't really matter. Here, have a knife. Seriously, this scene would be interesting if it was, you know, open world, if you actually had to sneak up on them. That would make a really good video game scene. There has been that done. Instead, they turn it into a QTE section. I mean, if we just had c some measure of control over our character, this could actually be a very interesting stage. Especially if they actually put some thought into... You know, how they moved, how they reacted to their mates uh, going down, stuff like that. This could have been good. I want to stress that. This scene could have been good. Yet, what the fuck did they do with the license? They turned it into a bunch of QTE sections. I mean, we had this starting stage that was a lot of... A lot of shooting and everything like that. And Could have killed them all. Yeah, we almost did. Could have killed you. Been telling you the law. Oh, you 
to me. Don't push it. Don't push it, I'll give you a warning. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, that's about all of the song I know. John Rambo, listen up, this is Lieutenant Morgan. And to prove that we don't want to kill anyone, let's kill everyone. And we get a small tiny cop killer, and there's 20 points off for that. I mean, we get fa we get 450 points shooting them. Uh, we also get a few points for disarming them. And... Then we get about 30 points for cop killer. 39 points in that regard. I mean, there's no incentive for me to actually bother to keeping them alive. I mean, in real life there would be, since I wouldn't want the death penalty or anything like that, but... It would? How? I mean, Rambo has done this in... Na oh, why am I bringing logic into this... Stupid fucking game. Let's kill some more cops. However, I don't know if these are actually cops. I think they're National Guardsmen. I'm not sure, but they could be. Yeah, they have to be National Guardsmen. I really doubt the town sheriff has access to LAWs. Why the fuck did it bring out LAWs either way? Okay, so that's three stages. I don't know how much more of this I can take. If I'm just basically just quitting on you and the entire video just goes black. Oh, headshots grants health. That's not actually something we could use. But we don't have another perk available to us, so... Let's see here. I'd rather have the headshots grant health rather than disarms, because I'm gonna aim for the head. Oh! Sweet! An M60! Ah, let's just bring the Colt then. The police made a terrible mistake, thinking he died in that cave-in. John Rambo had scrambled out of much darker places, and now he was a machine of war. I wonder what we the soldiers are actually listening to this thinks. They're like, why the fuck the are we listening to this? They switched the machine on, and they didn't know how to turn it off. I mean, basically, all this is a story told at his funeral, and then we have the entire parade just standing there listening. Oh, so now we're in town with a machine gun. This will end well. Yeah, like I said, there's no actual incentive for me to actually not kill them. I get my health either way. And the uh, point discount is not actually... Yeah, let's just keep it going.
Oh god, this is a dread awful combo. Could he just shut up? I know he's yelling instructions for the civilians, but seriously, it's getting annoying. I think it's actually stuck. And now it's stuck on slow-mo. Where do we get all this ammo from? I just have to ask. And now that glitch is back. Yay. Stand still so I can headshot you and get my health back, please. The funny thing is, I keep getting the disarmed bonus despite the fact that I'm killing them. Also, do you remember the scene from the movie where Rambo basically just kills every every policeman he sees? I mean, do you remember it? Because it, it was kind of a long time since I saw First Blood, but I'm arguably certain this never happened in it. And I mean, you're actually making a game stage out of a, a bunch of policemen who are... But, I mean, there's basically just one asshole who started the entire thing. They're, all the others seem very doubtful or hesitant if they should actually chase Rambo. There's one asshole. One fucking asshole. And all these guys are basically dying because of it. And of course, because the asshole knows he's the target of John Rambo, he hides out alone on a fucking roof. Because that's smart, ain't it? I mean, all the guys he just sent at Rambo, couldn't he just, you know, gather them around the police station instead? Okay, so we're gonna lure him out by shooting the police station. I can see a problem with this. Oh, and we had... Did we have unlimited ammo while we shot the police station? Sure looks like it. Let's just throw a grenade in there. Oh, and now it's the end, so we have less ammo. At least it makes a bit more sense with, you know, the machine gun, since it's belt-fed, that we have less ammo that way. It actually does make a little more sense. But, oh, wait, did I say anything in this game actually made sense? That can't be right. Let's just keep the trigger down and see what we can do. The game actually encourages me to fire in short bursts by making sure that any long bursts are increasingly inaccurate, but... I mean, haven't we demolished this place enough? And instead of just, you know, shooting Rambo from a secure vantage point, these guys decide to just stand out in the fucking open. I mean, they could have ha hidden behind the trucks, or they... Instead, they just rush out shooting at Rambo from exposed positions. Rambo seems to be the only fucker who's actually... Oh, apparently he's shooting at us now, so... We are thrown strictly into a QTE section. Because, of course, we are. Yeah, that was really difficult. A 5.56 caliber bullet would actually penetrate all this material that we're taking cover behind. I just want to point that out. 
it would penetrate it. Also, that's not where we shot him. We actually got in a solid headshot on the guy. For some reason, the game doesn't care, but that's the least of Go this on. game's problem. Go on, you crazy bastard! Kill me! I'd rather not. Rambo! Rambo, don't do it! Listen to me, Rambo. You have no chance. The building's perimeter is covered. No exits. There are nearly 200 men out there and a lot of M16s. This mission is over, Rambo. Do you understand me? This mission is over! Mission. Okay, that's all I can take. Uh, my recommendation would be do not check out this game. It's really not worth it. There are far superior games if you want, you know, turret shooters or a better game. If you want a on rails shooter, I don't know why you would want that. There are better games. If you want a game that's actually good, there are better games. And yeah, if you want the more humoristic, better version about why this game is a total garbage. I recommend checking out the articles by Angry Joe and Total Biscuit on this title. And as for me, well, I've just had enough.